Alright, welcome back to more Sakura Succubus. Now, things are getting real relaxing now. By the first week, at least for the first day that we've been at the Springs, everything seemed a bit alright. So, until uh, the girls started fighting, and uh, I just went back to my futon and chilled with Cosmos for a bit. So, yeah. So, let's get back into it, shall we? Alone, once more, I lay back on my futon, exhausted. I went to lay back here and close my eyes and sleep. But, though the minutes tick by, sleep doesn't come. My body might be worn down, but my mind is still active, and I can't turn it off. So much has happened in a short period, a short space of time. Sorry, I can't help but think about it. I know, based on personal experience, that it'd be pointless laying here any longer, waiting for sleep. I won't be able to find me. I can be awfully stubborn, and sometimes it feels like my mind's trying to sabotage my body. Does my brain really have my best interests at heart? After a few more minutes, I just eventually decided that enough is enough. I slipped out of my futon and get to my feet, bare toes curling against the tatami floor. I'm practically naked, save for my boxer shorts, and it's pretty cold. It's in the middle of the summer, but I guess it gets cooler up in the mountains than it does in the city. Shivering, I put on my yukata the boy king gave me gave them to us when we were arrived and then put on my sandals and then I exit the I exit my room and trek down the hallway I try to be quiet as possible my footfalls softer than those of a cat the hall is lined with numerous sliding doors and I'm sure the inhabitants of these rooms are all asleep I should be asleep too if my watch is anything to go by. It's a little after midnight. If only I could sleep at a normal time. My years of working overtime and putting, uh, pulling all-nighters might be catching up to me. Even on holidays, my sleep schedule is messed up. Relatable. Not that this is really a holiday. I'm supposed to be taking photos of a hey, Oh well, that can come later. It's too late to worry about work now. I exit the Roykin, uh, closing the doors behind me with a soft thud, then glanced around. Now I'm standing in a courtyard, a scenic space filled with maple trees. A cool breeze blows through the trees, then leaf rustles low and ominous. Overhead, the stars twinkle. It's n a nice, clear night. I can see the stars much more clearly out here than I can in the city. There's less pollution. The air smells nicer, too. Now I've had a chance to stretch my limbs. I feel like I'm finally ready to go to sleep. I turned, ready to depart when... Ah. Something catches my eye. I peer through the darkness. My eyes large than goose eggs. Everything feels vague, half formed, and mysterious. The garden is crawling with shadows. Meaning? My goodness! Who is you? Sorry, I'm checking out. <laughs> and one such shadow is standing beneath a maple tree, holding a red parasol over its shoulder. It isn't just any shadow, though. The closer I crept, the more clearly I can pick out details. 
There is a woman standing in the garden, her back towards me. Her hair is long and black, like a raven's feathers, and it fluttered in the wind. She's clad in an intricate kimono. Oh, kimono, excuse me. Intricate kimono uh, that slips off her bare shoulders, done up at the back in a traditional box ribbon. I can't see her face, but something about her looks strangely familiar. It couldn't be. I can't quite believe it, but this woman, no way. She looks a lot like my first girlfriend. Could that be really her? Is it really Yuki? Oh, that's it. Oh, that's it, yo. Wow. That was an experience. That was an experience. I'm not gonna lie. Wow. Wow. I'm... Thanks. <laughs> this game was awesome. I actually liked it overall. This was awesome. This was awesome. Please look forward to part two. I think I just saw part two in, um, in the PlayStation Store. Uh, I might get it, but let's review what's going to happen because, uh, man, I'm speechless. I, I can't even believe what I just witnessed, yo. This was crazy. I never thought in a million years that we might do this. So, I didn't know this was going to come to an end so fast, but... Looks like it went, <laughs> it went pretty fast. I'm not even gonna lie. So, I'm definitely gonna end it here, but all I'm gonna say is, is that I had really good fun with the game. This was a fun game. Now, if you guys wanna actually want more and want me to actually get uh, Sakura Succubus 2, please let me know in the comments, because I'll actually play that. And, uh, it will be a, uh, interesting experience to see that woman because it looks like either from my guesses here we might actually end up getting back together with her or we might actually not depending on what the scenarios are but we'll see we'll see but anyways hope you guys enjoyed the video thank you guys so much for watching it's been Zed I'm out